smoke dog. I've been doing this shit since I was three. You got my leg in there? Yeah, I got your leg in there. <laughs> my war, my war rooms? Yeah. <laughs> it's a war room. Hey, this is the back of the <coughs> podcast. And we are doing the review of Coming to America 2. And I got Sled to help me. Okay. What did you think of the movie overall? Overall? Yeah. Overall, I thought it was good. That, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm at good. All right, it ain't great. It wasn't a classic. It was good. <laughs> it, it, it was. It, it, my expectations were low, so yeah. it, it it was over my expectations. It, yeah, it was better than I thought it was gonna be. I yeah. thought it was gonna be trash. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was gonna be trash. like I got the hookup too trash. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, fella, let's turn this shit. Hey, let's turn this shit off. <laughs> you wanna watch the original one just for the, for for our sake? I th- I think the I think the story was better on this one, but the first one was funnier. The first one was way funnier. First one was way funnier, but this one like they still had a lot of. Uh, I think they, they play, play a, a lot. There's a lot of callbacks to yeah. the first one. So if you ain't seen this, if you ain't seen the first one, just try to pop this one in. Nah, you wouldn't get ninety percent. A lot of things that we just saying. <laughs> I like it. it was funny from it was funny from 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 his dad to the end. So. Yeah, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, I just, I forgot about this. Speaking of, he probably had the worst death in movie history. He said, I must die now. He's like, we'll die now. First of all, I thought, <laughs> first exactly. of all, I thought, I said, bro, why is this nigga in the coffin? But I didn't know he wanted to have his own funeral. He wanted to see yeah, his yeah, own yeah, funeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. His funeral cool. was lit for real. He had salt and pepper in Vogue, which I thought there was four members of Vogue, but I guess they only could get three. Yeah, I think. I mean, there was four members of Vogue. Yeah, yeah, they only had three. They only had three. But what a king, what a king, what a king. And they were spitting them lyrics. Had hey, salt and pepper come out there, but yeah, they he died trash. <laughs> he he looked in their now. eyes and said, Well, I can die now. Then, that was really <laughs> it, was, it was actually it was actually like an arrogant asshole. Like I said my funeral. Yeah, that was that was good. I, that, yeah, I he went out bad. It's cool. And I think that was, in my opinion, like this one character wise, it didn't match. Because the first one, he was so like, we got to do things done, you know, by the, by the book. By the book. And, you know what I'm saying? He was stern. He was serious. This one, he was just kind of goofy. And he was just like, all right. Well, I like all of this. He was just really cocky in this Maybe one. because that's how old people are, though. When they, about to, when they almost about to kick that book. <laughs> Everything's smooth sailing. Yeah, it just, I don't know. I didn't think it matched up character-wise for him. The only thing I didn't like about the movie, I didn't like how... I mean, but I guess you got to fit it into 2021. But I didn't like how the and like in the real movie. I mean, the first movie, the animals were more were real. These oh. ones, these ones were like CGI animals. And I just yeah. Said, okay. Okay, it wasn't your budget, but yeah. I mean, then it, yeah, then again, he was supposed to pull that whisker. <laughs> he was gonna get fucked up. That was real. Well, he would <laughs> that lion would have ate all the motherfuckers. <laughs> that lion would have ate that nigga would have had no son, no son, and no semi. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think yeah I, I like the story of this one more, but the the first one was so much fun. I like I like the I think I, I think the uh, the barbershop though on this one barbershop is what stands out to me the most because yeah that was the funniest scene them, to me. Them, them, them mighty sharp they funny and he's like Pacquiao many Pacquiao many yeah, yeah. <laughs> couldn't get many Pacquiao's day <laughs> that was funny. He's a football player with a hat to win. He said he had to be kind of a great. Yeah. He had to be kind of a great. He said, I was ready to ride too on the flat screen TV. Yeah, he said, like, oh, the flat screen TV. That was cool. And when, and then when the Jew, I always, the, the Jewish dude was talking about the Geek Squad, the Tiki Torch Whites. Oh, no, that was funny. The Tiki Torch Whites. <laughs> he's talking about the, uh, what was that nigga? Um, Prince Akeem, when he first walked in, and they was all roasted him for being African or whatever. And the old boy was like, look. He said he got the flies on the face. It's like, nah, hey, hey, man. Because, hey, man. man, like, that's real life. Hey, PC, man. <laughs> that's real life, man. He's like, hey, it's Coop the Kid Day. Like, <laughs> like, them niggas should be dead. <laughs> or they should be dead in real life. Because them niggas was old in the first one. Mike's T Sharp. Them niggas, <laughs> that nigga said, that's gentrification. That's <laughs> my brownstone. They're like, my brownstone worth 10, 000, 10 million dollars. Like, yo, brownstone ain't worth no $10 million. And I like I like that because they was arguing in the first movie. He was like, no, he did it. Yes, he did. Yeah. Fuck you, you, fuck you, fuck you. Who's that? You know what I'm saying? Yo, no, no, Bob, it's a kid. Like, that's why I liked it. And then I liked how, I mean, I think they could have picked another son, but. Yeah, because he was kind of bland. But I guess you, you know, I mean, I mean, you got everybody, so what's your budget? I mean, so, <laughs> you know. Yeah, there's nobody in there. 
So, I mean, other than that, I enjoy the movie for what it was. I laugh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what it was for me. It's pretty much yeah. just, you just got to take it for what it is. Be like, okay, this, if you don't go in expecting the first one, then it's cool. Right. That's how it was. I was like, because I came in with low hopes. So when it was like, I was like, oh, this oh, is great. I'll probably give it like a six, maybe a seven out of ten. I'll give it a seven. I get a seven. I mean, Leslie Jones really helped it out a lot. She, she did. She She's was funny. funny. She you was know, funny. Wesley Snipes is always good. Wesley Snipes, you can tell he had too much fun making this movie. Yeah. I, you know, one thing I didn't like, I, you're right. I mean, I, I didn't like, why is Ricky Rose talking in an African accent? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a, there's a, we filming at your house, might as well put you in the scene or two. Yeah, all right, Ricky Rose, okay, I get it. And they had the greatest concert at the end, man. They did the best performer hey, ever. Hey, and that's what made, <laughs> that's what made, when I said, I said, you know what, this movie was actually good. Dude. He bought sexual chocolate man. <laughs> Randy Watson. Because at first I was like, I thought I thought it was going to be Rick Ross uh-huh. that they was going to introduce. So I was like, okay, Rick Ross is going to be the one performing the yeah. He said, no. He, he said, nah. We got so much better than all this. We got so much better than all this. We got, better all this. He didn't we bring, got Randy Watson. He didn't bring just Randy Watson. He right, brought the whole chocolate. group. Sexual chocolate. And I'm happy that they got the... They got the they got the applause they deserve. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they gave it. They gave it a kill. It. And then that boy good. We got that line. <laughs> we got the, the Jew dude and the, and the Jewish dude. This is beautiful. What is this velvet? <laughs> he says that at the end of the movie. I, mean, I didn't look, even notice that. Yeah, he says it after after the credits. Uh, I got it because you know in the first movie, at the soup and the spoon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I didn't realize he said that. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, yeah. John Legend, he killed that. John thing. Legend, she's your queen. I'm, I did. I understand that we couldn't get the music, the original music, because you know copyright issues and things like that. Yeah. So I like how they improvise. Um, I wish I would have did her. I didn't like the soul glow. I wish I would have heard the uh, a soul glow. No, they played it. Yeah, but they played it like their version. Yeah, but we'll see. They played. They played. A, it was like a, it was a totally different version yeah. when he went to mess with that girl. Yeah. Which was funny, like she, you know. They had the de aging effect in the movie too. It looked bad. But the de aging thing to make yeah, it look Yeah, when he made it look young. Bad. He's like, look, I said, damn, Mark City Young, nigga. That shit looked bad. But then you could tell they they saw sw- But then you could tell, like, when they was in the room with Leslie Jones, he was about to, uh, when she was about to get him pregnant, when he was about to get her pregnant. That yeah. was ill in real life, and they just gave him, like, a slim. I think, yeah. I think Eddie Murphy was wearing, like, a fat suit or something to get his stomach. I don't think that was his real stomach. Is he saying when he was older? He in his regular, in the regular movie, the whole movie. I don't, I don't think stuff. he was. I think, I think if anything, they probably had somebody else play him, like when he was younger, oh, like, okay. like, like, and then put that face on him, like how they did uh, on the Schwarzenegger in that later Terminator movie. Oh like, yeah, that makes mean, shit. Yeah, yeah, when he was, yeah, I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> that's you. He's like, yeah. that nigga look nasty yeah. now. But I mean, I like, like jellyfish now. Nigga feel bad now. I did like, yeah, yeah, he, he tore you up. He was terrible. He was Hulk Hogan, nigga. <laughs> them niggas, them niggas age like, what you saying, age like, like what? Sack now. They they age like milk. <laughs> age like, age like Wonder Bread, nigga. <laughs> 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 niggas age like Wonder Bread. Yeah, nigga. Nigga age bad. I do think, you know, and then they bought the pastor back. That was funny. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. And I'm like, the Jubilee Church, he had it down. That was his real church. I like that. Was that, was that Arsenio playing that, uh, that one dude too. So Arsenio played the barber in the chair with the food. Yeah. He played the pastor, and then he played the Rafiki looking dude. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, I, was like, Rafiki Rafiki looking I thought it was him, but. And then you know Eddie played Randy Watson, uh, Mighty Shark with the, the one I was cutting. And he yeah. was actually cutting hair this movie. The last oh, movie was he? he wasn't cutting coochie. He was just he was just he was just, <laughs> <laughs> like, he was just cutting hair in this movie. He I like, didn't even know he was actually good there. Yeah, he's actually good there. And then he's like, don't give me your money all mad to me. <laughs> he's like, your money all mad to me because we got to kick you out of our <laughs> shit. Man. Yeah, he actually cut the hair in this movie. So, Coming to America was cool. I mean, the plot was cool. That's how, yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. I, just, I think the plot was better than the original. The plot it was had cool. a little more dynamic to it. I was sorry because the bathers weren't naked, but it was, <laughs> yeah. it's PG-13. Right? Was it, yeah. So, was, was the first one written over? Yeah. I did not and know And it that. was in the 80s. Mm. Even and, and you know coming to America, it, it even it brought everybody back that they could. I mean, even though the mom, I think she passed away in real life. That was what I said. It, it, she had to. Man. She's dead in real life, so I think she is. Because they brought everybody. Yeah, back. they brought everybody. They brought McDowell, and this nigga was in Zamunda still trying to steal 
<laughs> trying to steal off the He said, he got the McFlurry. I got the McFlurry. I said, dang, I ain't stealing me. stealing from that McFlurry. That nigga still stealing. He said, we put the we put the toppings on the bottom. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. Still, it's still a McFlurry. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they thought he was slick doing like, that. Like, what? We put the toppings on the bottom. bottom. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, what, what? Like, they, like, they even the cab driver. They got the cab even, the, the cab driver in the first one. That's the same cab driver? That was the same cab driver. Oh, I didn't even know that. We do this on the app now. Like, you gotta do this on the app. That just gave me like a new respect for this movie, though. Yeah, they brought everybody, you brought everybody back. back that you could, bro. Name a name a sequel where you seen everybody come back. That's crazy. Thirty I didn't years. Even realize they even brought the cab. I remember the cab driver back, bro. And oh, then they even oh, put, was killed that song though. Who? That dude is. She's your queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, he, but he said the other one. I don't I forget the song was. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like, oh, this my one. song. <laughs> I know the word of this song. She said, you better go over there. Yeah. that Prince. Hey, bruh. Tiana Taylor? She was looking cold. Oh, man. Movie. I don't really say girls is bad. She was Taylor's bad. bad. She was bad in this movie. Yeah, my shepherd, boy, I, I know why you... <laughs> I know why your NBA career over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to say, she... That's 24-hour surveillance. You can't let that girl go. She was... She, she was bad in this movie. Tiana Taylor, bad. Even, but then I... You know, Lisa, you know, she aged real well. She did. She aged real well. Got uh, Garcia Benvenudez and her last name. The flower girl. Oh, you're talking she, about, yeah, you Fancy. Yeah, hey, Fancy can get it. Yeah, she's still the exact same. Yeah, Fancy Because I was looking at when she was like, when she came out there again, I was like, man, that is Fancy. I was yeah, just watching Jamie Foxx before fancy. I watched that. And but, I was just like, hmm. I was like, she looked exactly the same. Yeah, that's Fancy. And then, like, man, I mean, I mean, Peaches and them blew up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, 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 nigga, they got big. Damn, nigga, y'all been eating that. Damn. Was big. You been, you know, I see you done. Damn. You been eating that McDowell's. But <laughs> <laughs> well, they came out, they was big. They got to go to Lorks. Bro, them niggas, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> bro, that's funny to me, bro. Like, bro, you're stealing all your ideas and you're trying to act like you're not stealing, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> he just did one little tweak. He was like, "All right, all so right." Take me you have to go. We'll take one arc. Arc away. Yeah. We have to go to arc. You got to go narc. We got to go narc. Like, yeah, yeah, get the fuck dead. out of here. <laughs> Boy, they brought Louis Anderson back. I thought he was dead. I thought Louis Anderson was dead. <laughs> I, I was weeping because when he brought him back, I was like, "Oh, like, that's old oh, boy." That's Louis Anderson. He, he was dead. He looked Louis, nasty. Louis Anderson alive? I found that he didn't even like. He wasn't supposed to be in the first movie. In oh, really? Yeah, they was like, we need a white guy in there. Yeah, they, 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 they needed a white guy. Well, that, was, that was when they talking about they needed a white guy. Yeah, they forced him to put a white guy in the movie. Really? He wasn't supposed to be in that movie. They was like, well, we know him. It kind of worked out. <laughs> right back again, like an old crush. And guy. obviously, Louis Anderson stuck to his plan, because guess what he was doing now? Now he's an ambassador. Is he? Bro, he was over in Zamunda, bro. Oh, you right, started. You, right, you, you right. started on fries. You right. And then he was making hey. cutting lettuce. Few years he was assistant manager. Hey, now look at that him. nigga that moved up. He moved up, man. <laughs> he moved up. A kid was he was mopping without a, a bucket. I said, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That nigga moved over. Yeah. I did. I mean, I didn't like how. I mean, and then I guess the scene where Wesley Snipes, where his daughters uh, got him, you know, they oh, was yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that was like catered to Samuel L. Jackson. When they got, you remember? I that? didn't think about that because they did trip him just like the movie. Trip him just did. like Samuel L. Jackson. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's the only person they didn't bring back was Samuel Jackson. Only person, I mean, you didn't need to. You probably in prison. <laughs> Who the fuck is this asshole? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, they could have brought back reform. That's how they did, uh, um, what's his name? On the third barbershop movie. They brought him back. Anthony Anderson. Yeah, yeah, I can't think of his name. Yeah. Think of third yeah. barbershop movie. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they brought him back. I turned that bitch off. <laughs> I'm good. That movie was just one long after school special. That movie, <laughs> that movie sucks. That nigga, Ice Cube. People talking about coming to America too suck. I thought Barbershop Three sucked. I tell you what sucked. I got the hookup too. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. That was a 20 minute. Nah, we good. <laughs> Master P, bro, I supported you too. <laughs> I was all for you, and you gave me that shit, and you did the same amount of money. You did the same amount of money as uh, Eddie Murphy and them did. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, well, fuck so they yeah. filmed at Rick Ross's house. I'm saying, like, and they. I, like, I thought the movie was cool for what it was, so. I did too. I I, I like the movie. I, hey, popular opinion, man. I liked it better than The Bad Boys 3 for real, for real. Mm. 
I love Bad Boys 3. I I, you like Bad Boys 3 because you like action. <laughs> I do, but I thought, I don't know, I just thought Bad Boys 3 was good. I think Bad Boys 2 was just long. I just thought it was long. Bro, shit. Bad Boys 2 is arguably one of the funniest black movies we ever seen. <laughs> the nigga, they were fucking rats, bro. <laughs> they fucked just like us. <laughs> Like, come on, man. But then, like, bro, like Bad Boys 3 was just all action. I'm like, damn, nigga, is this Transformers or Fast and Furious? <laughs> damn, I can't remember oh, that. I thought that was fire. I thought that's the best one. Bro, the Fast action Fury was fire movie. as fuck. But then when I see who, uh... So you got the Rush Hour vs. Bad Boys uh, podcast. Which, yeah, hey, we don't need no Rush Hour 4. Rush Hour 3 was cool. We, did. we don't need those. We don't need those. The only sequel I wanted, for real, for real, was Friday. But I mean that. They, no, no, I don't even want it now. Well, I'm saying like, but like, like ten years ago, yeah, yeah. I wanted it. But Pops now, is dead. now Pop's dead, Debo dead. Yeah. That's like that's like Fathers for Niggas is dead in, in that series. And that. and Ice Cube like, man, I'm trying to get y'all to move. Like, no, we, it's too late. Nah, new life cinema. Mike is too big for it now. It's just like I'm, I'm good on that. Chris Tucker, Chris Tucker, what Chris Tucker, Chris Tucker, Christian now. Yeah, he's hell? a Christian. And he said he's not big anymore. He says he's, he's never playing Smokey. Yeah, hey, what the hell, Chris Tucker going to do? That's what. <laughs> Chris Tucker with all the money now. Hey, listen, bro. Simi, Simi was in, in the first movie. That nigga was a horn dog. And he plotted the whole time. Still trying to get coochie. Stealing money. He's like, how about we just go for a cool meal? He said, he said you was looking for a bride. I was, I was looking, looking for a vagina. vagina. <laughs> Simi was a freak. Simi matured in this movie, man. He did. He did. <laughs> well, yeah, check it out. If you haven't seen it yet, it, it just came out. Um, go check it out. Um, give your review on it. Um, rate our review. You know, give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's the end of this review. You go ahead and keep it tight. Oh, yeah.